We have seen some snow showers coming off of Lake Michigan. That's affecting areas to our west and up to our northwest near the tip of the mitt and then closer to the Lake Michigan shoreline near the Traverse City area. We're seeing cloudy skies along US 23 from Presque Hill Township through Alpena and down towards Tawa City. So we have that cloud cover overhead and the much colder temperatures. We had a cold front move through earlier today tied to this low pressure system now east of Lake Superior. That cold front extends now to the east of lower Michigan and then through sections of northern Ohio back through Indiana and Illinois as well. We have colder winds that will shift out of the northwest. That's going to cause some cold temperatures tonight into tomorrow and there will continue to be pockets of lake effect snow coming off Lake Superior and Lake Michigan, but that lake effect snow will generally be staying to the west of our area and you can see that big divide in temperatures across the Great Lakes. It's 60 degrees in Buffalo, 64 degrees in Pittsburgh. That's out east of the cold front, but where we've seen the cold front already move through, temperatures are largely in the upper 20s and 30s. It's 29 degrees in Marquette, 38 degrees in Minneapolis, and it's these cool temperatures that are heading in our direction. So for tonight, low temperatures heading down to 27 degrees in Alpena, 29 degrees in Oscoda, 28 degrees in Atlanta with mostly cloudy skies. And then for tomorrow, we'll be seeing mostly cloudy skies with a breeze out of the west northwest close to 15 miles per hour. So that's just going to make it feel even more chilly. We'll have highs only getting up to 40 degrees in Alpena, up to 43 in Oscoda and 39 degrees in Atlanta. Not a whole lot of active weather to talk about. We'll be seeing mainly cloudy skies in our area tomorrow. There might be some isolated snow showers to the west of our area, particularly in the first half of the day. Then it's going to stay mostly cloudy heading into Wednesday as well. But as we go into Thursday, we should see some brighter skies. Temperatures for tomorrow only reaching highs near 40 degrees, and it's going to remain cold into Wednesday. Our normal high temperature this time of year sits at 55 degrees, so we're going to be running about 15 degrees below normal for the next couple of days up to around 50 on Thursday and then temperatures climb above normal Friday with highs expected to go over 60 degrees. So for tomorrow highs near 40 degrees. It's going to be mostly cloudy and cool. It is a very cold start to Wednesday morning with lows near 23 degrees highs around 40 and mostly cloudy. We'll start off Thursday with temperatures in the middle 20s, but it'll start getting warmer. We'll see a little more sunshine with highs near 50 degrees. Then on Friday, Friday, it continues getting warmer, starting off in the lower 30s, highs around 61 and partly cloudy skies. Saturday morning likely starts dry, but then into Saturday afternoon and evening, we'll have some showers moving in with another cold front, so that's going to knock the temperatures down heading into Sunday, but Sunday is looking drier. It's going to be partly cloudy with highs near 48 degrees, and then for next Monday, we'll have partly cloudy skies with afternoon highs around the lower to middle 50s.